All right, Coach Aspen, uh, I'm tired from watching you work out because I don't want to, like, get you to put your hands on me and make me tired and worn out. But uh, good stuff today, you know, basic grinding of college wrestling. Um, I know that's your style. How is that, and how does that mix with Coach Coach Scott, who's more of a thoroughbred, in out, you know, not have hands on you all the time guy? How does that, that, that mix between you and him and that style? Well, it actually works because it's a – we have a pretty dynamic – you know, set of coaches at, at UNC. You know, with with uh, hand fighters and, and Coleman. He's a he's an outside wrestler, but he he's still strong and he can he can put his hands on you and he pulls guys underneath him. So he, he hand fights really as much as any of us do. But it, it just it works. It works and, and guys are good moving their feet and they're good grinding. You know, you've been all around the country. You've been Iowa City, Stillwater. I mean, this place you've lived, coached, competed. It's pretty wild to think of Buffalo, Bloomsburg, DeKalb, Illinois. You're from Indiana. But when you, you know, you've recruited all over the country. When you look at this, what are you looking for in guys here? I know you want guys who go hard. I know that's your deal. You want guys who are going to mash guys, put their hands on them, wear them out. What are you looking for when you're recruiting for UNC? Well, there's, there's a little bit more to it for us, I think. Um, you know, guys that wrestle all the time, that love the sport, you know that you can't ever forget about academics because if academics are in order, then the wrestling's probably going to be in order too. You know, um, really the full package, not a kid that forgets about one of those things, but someone that really has it all in place. You know, um, you know, and, and the wrestling and the technical side of it kind of speaks for itself. But you know, with the coaches we have, we. You can be a grinder and it's going to work, or you can wrestle from the outside and it's going to work, and you can mix both styles and it and it, will, it ends up working pretty well. Along your journey, you've taken a lot from all these guys, from from John Smith, from the Brands brothers, I mean, your your brother-in-law John Stutzman at Buffalo. I mean, you've got a lot of guys you've learned under now under Coleman. What's it like? Who do you who do you like? What style do you think you gravitate towards more? Is there someone who you you know, or do you take something from everybody and try and apply it to the job now? I've taken bits and pieces from everybody, but I was with, definitely with Terry Brands from the most, not just from the wrestling side of it, but a personal or life side of it. There was a lot more that went into that, and, and Terry, I attribute a lot of um, my style of wrestling and, and where I'm at kind of today because, of, you know, a good chunk because of Terry. I would say, you know, I lived in his basement for a while in Iowa City, so we we're pretty close. And, and you know, he took my style of wrestling; it always worked for me, grinding like that, and, and it just worked. That worked. You know, we talked that he, he unplugs from the sport a little bit. He, he you know, he kind of like balances real well. What's that balance like for you? Now you have a family. What, what's it like having balance? And Terry seems to have pretty good balance. Yeah, he's a family man, and. Um, you know, I now that when you have kids, you, you learn a lot. You learn a lot fast. Uh, it changes, you know, how you are as a person, what you're doing outside of wrestling and stuff like that. So um, you have to balance. You know, you long day in the office, you get home, or uh, maybe you take a loss on the road, or you know, the, the tough parts of wrestling, and you come back, and you know, you, you have a bunch of kids that want you to act like you're a Power Ranger. You know, I mean, that, it teaches you a lot. You got to go home and you got you, you to gotta live that part of your life as well and get away from it. It's just how it goes. So what's crazy to me is you've coached and or competed with teams that are in all the conferences except for the back, right? Yeah. EWL, MAC, right? Yeah. ACC now, Big 12, Big 10. You, you, you've been everywhere, mm -hmm. right? What's it like seeing the different how they schedule where you are and you know now the ACC is just on the come up no question about it right yeah but but what's it like going from conference to conference and school to school and club to club and what's that like what how do you shift gears and how do you adjust to that it, I mean it's it's tough you gotta you gotta kind of keep your same philosophy you know or your philosophy the same wherever you're at you know it's always going to be a part of you but the Seeing how people prepare for matches, what it's like, how serious it gets in the room, other places it's not quite as serious at practice. It's kind of hard to explain, but um, it, I have. I've, I've seen it all, and, um, you know, one thing always sticks, and that's, you know, uh, the guys that are serious and prepare the right way win at a high level, you know. Um, and you always got to 
set up your schedule around you got to get it as tough as possible. You got to wrestle the best guys. You got to wrestle the best teams. So you're prepared at the end of the year for the NSA tournament. And I think that helped us last year. Looking at the, the funding spectrum, it's such an unlevel playing field. You know, you've been to the bottom, Bloomsburg, funding wise. I mean, they had they were funding under three scholarships. Their operating budget's priced similar to your equipment budget at UNC. And I'm not like joking, it's like no, you're right. similar, right? It's bad, yeah. But you look at that, right? You look at this just uneven, not a level playing field. You know, you got your Penn States, okay, and then your Ohio States and Iowa, Oklahoma State, they fund well. What's it like going and seeing all the spectrums of the funding or lack thereof? What is that like when you, you roll up into you know Chapel Hill? It's like, whoa, we got it here, right? Yeah. We, we want to win, right? But you come from places where it's different. What's the funding like, and how does that that plan to wrestle you? Well, when when funding changes, you know, athletic departments are so different. You know, uh, like at UNC basketball, football, basketball. I mean, is, is the big one. I mean, the, the money's there, and they're just serious. You can win. To be quite honest, as a team at a high level, I think, you know, whereas, you know, you know, in this, in this sport, if you're willing to put in the work, I guess, wherever you're at, budget doesn't mean anything, you know, um, if, if someone wants to be good, the, the thing is, as, as a team, everybody's got to buy into that, you know, at a, you know, I was at Bloomsburg, at a Bloomsburg, they were good before, you know, when Stutzman was a coach there, um, you know, you just got to buy into it, everybody's got to believe you can be good, and, and, I mean, back in the, you know, even back in the, the olden days when I, I heard a story, I forget who it was, won a national title at Clarion with the dripping, dripping wrestling room, you know, ceiling. I mean, you can win anywhere. You know, you just got to be willing to put the work in and freaking wrestle all the time, you know, and grind. And, and, I mean, it's there's no secret to wrestling, I guess. You know, but, but the budgets, it's, it's a little, nowadays it's a little bit easier, you know, to get places and, and to get equipment and recruit and stuff, I guess. Is that really, that's really your question. So, you know, there's certain places it's a lot easier to win as a team, I'd say. I mean, look, right down the road from you, they got a team trophy in, in Raleigh, right? Yep. He's doing something right there. The administration's and got, on board. Yep, and the their administration's, administration's on, on board. board. All right, um, all the places you've wrestled, favorite place to wrestle, you know, you say Iowa City, Terry, you're there training, right? Uh, Colorado Springs, you're out there. But what's your favorite place that you trained at? You know, Stillwater is a different place. They're college towns, but you know, it kind of integrates a club into it. What's your favorite place to train? Is, is, is Chapel Hill where it's at right now? Do you, do you really enjoy it? I really enjoy Chapel Hill. Chapel Hill's awesome. Um, you know, uh, there, there's been bits and pieces everywhere I've been that I loved. Colorado Springs was unreal. Iowa City was w really good to me. Um, Stillwater was really f fun. You know, I, I think at Stillwater, I had a little bit better situation. So I had a, a lot more friends. I was closer with a lot more, you know, guys there. So I could easily say Stillwater. Stillwater was, it was pretty sweet to me, you know. Um, but I guess right now, just where I'm at, Chapel Hill's pretty good to me right now. I like I liked the area, uh, family and all that stuff. So it's good. When you come to a recruiting event like this, um, what are you looking for at the C3? What, what's Coleman say? Hey, we want to look at this guy. We want to look at this weight. What, what's the assignment? What's as a coach? What's he tell you? You know, as an assistant coach, what's he tell you to look for? And what are you looking for? You know, it, it's it's funny. We, you know, I get a lot of free reign in recruiting. You know, um, it's my job to bring in the best kids and then get everybody to campus and 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 kind of decipher what which one we're going to take and what kind of style works for us and what kind of mentality works for us. I, I, we don't we really don't talk about what we're looking for. You know, I, I want to come here and talk to kids. I'm a big guy into personality. You know, if a kid has a good personality, he, he's going to be easier to coach down the line. I just, I believe that. Um, you know, and someone that stands out. You know, we don't really talk about what we're looking for. You just kind of know. Is that know? it? You just know? You just know. You know, I keep it simple. Um, we've brought in uh, two or three top ten recruiting classes at UNC, and our philosophies have been the same. And, and um, you just kind of know. I mean, you know, you go after the the best kids, and you know, if they don't fit, if they're not going to work out at Chapel Hill or not. But you know, uh, they got to love wrestling. And what I said earlier, I mean, everything everything kind of goes into it. All right, where are you at tonight? You out of here tonight? I haven't decided yet, you know. I you haven't bought a ticket. I don't know. If you're no, trying. I I actually drove. Oh, you drove okay. Yeah, I had I had some camp gear. I got to pick up for camp. Camp starts next week, so uh, 
So I drove down. It's not real far from me. So um, I brought the family down. Oh, really? They're, they're probably at the aquarium right now in Atlanta. So um, I have no idea what I'm going to do yet. You know, I might stay tonight and then and then uh, go to another session tomorrow morning. But we'll see. We'll see. Probably just hang out in Atlanta today and hang out. So. All right, Coach. Thanks for the time. Safe travels. Enjoy hanging out with the family. Good technique today and good luck to you guys. Thank you.